Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Thankful Thursday and I am recording this the night before so it's actually Wednesday for me but it's Thursday for you guys. And the reason why I'm recording it early is because today I have my shot. So uh, in order to, I'm going to turn off the music here. Um, in order to not be sick while I'm doing this, um, I'm going to do this tonight. So I have all sorts of things to show you. Uh, first of all, let's move some few things around. So I got some um, orders in from Amazon. So I'm going to move a couple of things. The first one is this big old box here. Well, it's a big box. So I'm just going to tip you up a little bit so that you can see the big box. So it's uh, from Seven Elements and it's a big wooden box. And in this big wooden box I have already put things in. So it has four drawers and in these four drawers I have placed my Paul Rubens. So this one here has my oil pastels and it doesn't come with the little foamy mat so I made one so that the pastels would be protected and it fits, um, I have two sets. This set here is the uh, pastel colors and this set here is the metallic colors. So it's got two full sets in there and then in here we also have the rest of the Paul Rubens. This has got the main set so it's got the 48 set in there as well as all the other whites. So there's an entire thing, you know, there's like seven whites. So all of them are in here. I'm going to actually move this one over here so that uh, it's not so wobbly. So, and then I've got of course my tortillos and my blending stumps and you know, my my other necessary stuff. And I've pinched my hair in between. <laughs> and then in this drawer, I have my soft pastels, my sticks, as well as some soft pastel pencils. And in the center aisle here we have a couple of pastel pencils, a HB pencil, and some rainbow pencils that I don't use very often. As well as the blenders and a few other small soft pastels. And then in this drawer, it's so pretty, I have all of my pastel pencils from Hobby Lobby, which all fit quite nicely in there. So I have made myself, well I bought it, but I have put together and put all of my pastel stuff in there other than my pan pastels. They wouldn't fit. I tried. <laughs> and this is on, this is for sale on Amazon and they're actually quite inexpensive on Amazon. Um, I think this set was less than $20 for the, or just over $20. Let me check. Let me check. Um, yeah, just over $20. So it came to $26.99 for the four drawers. Now I had a couple of coupons and some other things. So for me it was less than $20. But it, it contains all of the pastel stuff in one place so I can just grab a drawer and go. 
So that's really cool. I really like that. And if I was to buy another one, they would just lock into place with these little cleats. So I could stack another one on top and it would lock into place with the cleats, which is really cool. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because it's heavy because I've loaded it up. <laughs> Didn't take me long to load that up either. All right, and I'll put those back in there in a bit here. So now the other thing that I bought, and I will be doing a video on this tomorrow or later on tonight, depending upon how time goes. This is the Faber-Castell 60 classic color set that you can get here in the US. This does come from Amazon EU and was 27, no, it was more than that. It was cost me that because of other things. Uh, these are $52.91. So for $53, I got 60 colored pencils where with the 100 set from um, Ally Express, it was less than $50 for the 100 set. So, and they come in a typical Faber-Castell box, two layers. They're short layers, but there's only 60 pencils in here. It also comes with two drawing pencils, an eraser, and a pencil sharpener. And I will go through those later, as well as um, I will be doing a comparison video between these and the 100s um, later on. So stay tuned for that. Or I might do it earlier, it all depends. If I do it tomorrow morning, it'll be before this, so you will be already have seen these. <laughs> if I do it tonight, it will be after this, because then I can schedule it. So we'll put those over there. And another thing that I got in, finally, and I'm going to tip you forward so you're not looking at my lap, because, yeah, nobody wants to see that. There we go. Uh, I got in the uh, Coloring Haven Steampunk Special. This is issue number 74. And I'll do a really quick flip through of it. It's got some really cute pictures in it. And this is, who is the artist here? Dawn Davidson, that's right. So there's 14 exclusives to this book by Dawn Davidson. So there's this one, which is called Aaron Boy. And this one, which is called Focus. This one is on time. This one is Steam Empress. And this one is Hickory Dickory Duck. This is Jack Be Nimble. This one is called Rosie. This one is Foxy. I love the fox around her hat. That one's going to be fun to color. And then we have La Late for Tea. So it's a spin-off of Alice in Wonderland with the White Rabbit, but the White Rabbit is mechanical. That's cool. And then we have Little Miss Muffet. And then we have Mary Had a Little Bird. Instead of Mary Had a Little Lamb, Mary Had a Little Bird. And then the Mad Doctor. And Tinker. And mini drone and high flyer. I know this is going really quick, but uh, Adele. This one's pretty. I like this one. The resurrection key. 
Uh, Alice. So there's Alice. And she's got all sorts of things going on there, isn't she? And then there's the Mad Hatter and Cheshire Cat. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Lots of different things going on there. It looks like she's blowing away those uh, cards. Ivanka, uh, the Baroness, that's another one that's going to be cool to color. The Center of the Earth, the Defender of Kanpur, and then the Defender of Oz. Double Agents of the Old West. And then we have Dr. Jekyll and Ms. Hyde and Elsa or Eliza, either which way. This one is uh, Matt Davidson who has drawn this one. And this is also by Matt Davidson, which is the Gaslight Geisha. And then Gearson Girl is also done by Matt Davidson. And Herlock Holmes. Herlock Holmes. And Watson. Nemotopia and Satine of Paris and then the Scarlet Rain and the Sky Queen and the sea Stream Steam Trunk Travel Company and the Floating Lotus the details in these are so cool and then we have Time's Flying and we have the Victoria Frankenstein and uh, Wendy Victorious so instead of it being Peter it's Wendy And then we have the Wicked. And there's the Wicked Witch with her flying monkeys. And then we have Zalska, daughter of Dracula. And then we have the Zephyr, Zephyr Captains. Also from the Steam Trunk Travel Company. And I think that's the last one of the lot. So once again, these are um, designs by Matt and Don Davidson. So it's both of them in here. So where does Matt take over? So most of these Okay, so Don Davidson goes all the way up to High Flyer, and then the rest of them from Adele on are Matt Davidson. 
wonderful, wonderful book. Um, fantastic artistry and very, very well detailed. And of course, I will be looking at possibly coloring something in here. It might take a while. Steampunk isn't really my genre of uh, enjoyment. I find it to, I find a lot of the metallic gear coloring type things. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? I find them tedious and and not so fun. But there's a lot in here that don't have a lot of the the big gears and stuff like that. So I will probably uh, have more fun with it than I think. So that is all the things that came in that I bought. Now this, this is a present from a wonderful, wonderful lady, Miss Tammy. And they're a scented candle set. And it is the most beautiful scented candle set I have ever seen. There's eight different candles in here. Oh, if I can open it, there we go. And they come in these absolutely gorgeous little tins. And they're so pretty. And they smell so nice. And so this one here is uh, oolong milk tea. And it's a little candle. And it smells so pretty. And I just want to say thank you to her uh, for, for thinking of me and giving me such a beautiful, beautiful present. Um, it comes very, very well protected in this box. And I just, I just adore them. Look at these little tins. Look at all that artwork on there. I just love mandalas when other, buddy, other people do them. I'm not very fond of doing them myself, but they are absolutely gorgeous. That one's nice. I like that one. Lavender. Of course I like that one. It's one of my favorite scents. <laughs> There's another one in here that's really, really nice too. Um, well, they're all really nice, but this one here is really nice. It's coffee whiskey. It's really, really nice. And the, the tins are just beautiful. The artwork on these tins is just phenomenal. Just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And uh, I will enjoy these and relax with them while I'm coloring with you. <laughs> And that is all of the wonderful things that I have received this week. Um, I will go through and do, like I said, I will be doing the breaking news, um, not breaking news really, the news update on the Faber-Castells. Um, I have showed you the wooden box and I have gone through the coloring book for you. So the only thing that I have to go through with you is the um, Faber-Castells, which I've gone through the classic 100s with you already in a review. And I will be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with them on a uh, news update. So stay tuned for that. Um, Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful weekend. I am having my shot done, so hopefully I will be back by Saturday. I am not going to be putting out any videos for Friday, so please uh, forgive me. <laughs> I don't like, you know, having a schedule and not sticking to it. It drives me crazy. But unfortunately, I would rather stay in bed and get better and let this thing take its course and do its thing so that I can be healthy forever. 
I won't I won't be healthy forever come on now but at least I will have the um, knowledge that I have done everything in my power to avoid catching or spreading this virus once again guys thank you so much for your patronage your um, subscriptions coming and visiting me during the live chats for everything you all do for me I thank you and uh, yeah one more thing uh, just to let you know I have become monetized I did hit the 1000 subscriber mark a little while ago well on Sunday and I did become monetized on Monday I think I think it was Monday yeah Monday Monday or Tuesday um, so with the monetization no it was on Tuesday so with the monetization you will be receiving advertisements throughout the videos um, I do apologize if they become too much or too many I don't have any control over it it's what ever YouTube does with it that uh, dictates it um, all I do is hit yes please monetize it and it does its thing if there are too many um, I will do a little bit more research and see if there's something I can turn off or turn on to lower them down a little bit but at this point I think it's just the way that YouTube does YouTube so for their revenue and everything else to make sure that they can make the money and continue putting out the video putting up our videos and maintaining the service to hold them and house them all and everything else so unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about it I hope they don't get too annoying I will do a little bit of research and see if there's you know one or two that I can turn off but if I turn them off I will let you know that I don't receive the monetization for those I don't receive the funds for those which doesn't go to the channel all of the funds that I receive um, from YouTube in the monetization from you guys uh, via PayPal or from Amazon via you guys clicking on the Amazon links all goes towards the channel and purchasing things for the channel with that being said again thank you so much for everything you do for me please remember to relax color and stay safe until Saturday I will say goodbye for now and I will um, hopefully be back Saturday if I'm not if you don't see me post a Saturday video unfortunately I'm not feeling well enough and there won't be a Saturday video a Saturday live chat so if it's not posted by the end of Friday uh, then it it won't be happening so and if that happens I will see you on Monday for of course collection mania Monday all right guys bye bye for now and thank you again have a fantastic day